Welcome back to the morning blend. Okay, so our next guest wrote a step by step wedding guide for guys. It's called the groom's instruction manual how to survive and possibly even enjoy the most bewildering ceremony known to man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the author is Shandon Fowler, and he joins us live. Shandon and his wife have just celebrated 15 years of marriage, and he says he's still happily married, what, most of the time? <laughs> Hi, yeah. Shandon. Morning. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. <laughs> Absolutely. Good to have you with us this morning. We got to know, I mean, what, what caused you to write this book? Were you the perfect groom? Were you a horrible groom? How did you decide this was the book you needed to write? Well, you know, it's really funny. I think that um, uh, there are two kinds of sort of how-to books. I think you find that there are people who become masters in their field and they want to share their knowledge with other people. And then there are people who kind of mess it up and they want to write a book so that other people don't mess it up. And I think that I was, I like to think that I was a master in my field, but I'm probably much more of the, the latter than the former. So, um, and like a lot of good proposals, I was kind of coaxed into it. I had a, a, a friend of mine who's an author, uh, he had a publisher who he uh, sent me a note one day and said, hey, these guys are looking for a book on um, how to be a groom. You just got married. You want to, You have anything you want to say? And I said, man, do I ever have anything I want to say? So, um, so yeah, we, uh, we talked and we connected. It's called Quirk Publications out of Philadelphia, a wonderful publishing house. And, uh, and yeah, and the rest is history. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Um, I want to talk about first something you did right at your wedding, in your opinion. You know, I think that uh, one thing that we did right is that um, I kind of, uh, you know, what my mother-in-law says is that, you know, that she loves the most about the highest quality that or the highest compliment she can give somebody is that they do things before they're told to do them. Um, and there were things that I kind of planned and, you know, put together uh, like, you know, uh, let's say music and, you know, guest lists on my side that I that I went into it uh, pretty good. I, I don't know. My wife would probably tell you differently, but I was I was involved in it. And so that's uh that's something that I'm, you know, proud of and looking back. Cute. Okay. Anything I you're willing like to share about take something the garbage you out didn't do right? Too. <laughs> Most of the time, you know, sometimes you, it's, you know, 15 years is a long time. So, uh, you know, we, uh, but, but yeah, I, I try to do the garbage as much as possible. <laughs> Sorry, Mo, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, okay, so then on the flip side of that, is there anything you're willing to admit that you didn't do right on your wedding? Well, you know, in the book, I spend a lot of time talking about the different personality traits. You know, there's a, one thing about like discerning the difference between the woman you love and your fiance and some of the different personality traits that can uh, come on in the stresses of planning a wedding. Uh, and I think also with, you know, uh, family dynamics and so on, uh, there's a lot there. And a lot of guys are just not ready, you know, literally emotionally ready for uh, all of those dynamics that might can come up in the wedding. Um, so I think that what I would have liked to do a little bit more, uh, you know, we, we had a big Southern wedding. My family's from the West, uh, you know, and I was an only child. So I think it was a bit of a fish out of water experience. And then looking back, I think that if I could have sort of guided my family a little bit more, um, you know, that would that would have been really nice. But it was still a lovely, lovely day. I, I assume now, as you've kind of written this book and you've been to many weddings, lots of your friends have gotten married. Is there one thing you say to groom? I mean, obviously you said do things before you're asked, but is there one like tangible thing that grooms need to be aware of and need to do? Uh, I think that it's ask ask your ask questions. So don't uh, don't always come with answers. Sometimes you just want to ask questions um, because. Uh, and I think that you know one of the things that uh, has that I've been told about this book is that it really outlines some things that are uh, that are important to uh, to be able to do. Um, so you want to ask your your uh, fiance questions and say, well, what do you think about this or what do you think about that, and then be ready for her to say, no, you need to. Not not stay, you need to not get involved in that. Um, or yes, <laughs> go ahead and uh, do that. <laughs> it's so funny because you mentioned earlier that some guys just aren't emotionally ready for the whole thing, the, the whole ceremony. It might be true for the marriage as well. Is there any quick tip you could give to guys? Is there a way to change that and be emotionally ready? 
<laughs> well, you know, I think that you just have to, again, you just have to uh, uh, listen, you know, um, if, if there's any advice I would have for anybody in, in, a, in a wedding or uh, in being married, it's just listen and, and, uh, and, and really kind of take, take into account, you know, what, uh, what, your, what your partner's going through and, and what you're going through. Uh, and hopefully they're a good listener too, and you guys can kind of build, build things together. And, and I think also, you know, in the first years of your marriage, you know, you kind of realize there's, you know, you're so in love. And then when you, you, as it goes on and you have children, especially, you know, it becomes a lot of work. And this is super boring to say, but there's a real division of labor. Who's going to take out the trash? Who's going to take the kids to school? Um, and, you know, if you just talk about these things, then, you know, that you can, uh, you're, you're much better off over time. I love it. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much. And congratulations on 15 years of marriage. Thanks, Thank Shannon. you very much. I love it. And again, the book is called The Groom's Instruction Manual, How to Survive and Possibly Even Enjoy the Most Bewildering <laughs> Ceremony Known to Man. That was fantastic.